Well, we're exactly one month away from hurricane season. The National Weather Service is asking homeowners to make necessary repairs to their homes before the season starts. Yeah, I mean, Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez, Gutierrez explains how Valley City is helping some of the residents make those repairs. Cecilia? Thanks to a number of programs in Port Isabel, homeowners on a fixed income or new home buyers can get much needed repairs to their homes. If you drive through Port Isabel today, the city looks pieced back together after Dolly in 2008. Carlos Gonzalez says, until you take a deeper look. I've seen a lot of damaged roofs around there. I see some paper fences bad from wind, especially the wooden fence. And I've seen some, uh, not only today, this has been for years. Gonzalez remembers the damage done to Port Isabel during Dolly. That's why he prepares for the season every year. He had surgery recently, so he needs help with this year's repairs around the house. Uh, I just can't do it. I can climb like I used to or do nothing else. And financial problems, that's the only reason I need some help. At least help me chop down some trees that were next to my house. Yeah, I need a hurricane fence. The city of Port Isabel has several programs for people like Gonzalez. The Building Blocks program helps the elderly or disabled in the city. Repairs to windows, fences, and sightings to homes are done by the fire department. There's also a program in the works by the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. This program would allow homeowners on a fixed income to get larger repairs done to their homes. National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer Joshua Schroeder says folks should take advantage of programs like these before the start of hurricane season. Now is the time to, to get those repairs done. He says repairs to get your home are just as important as stocking up on flashlights and emergency kits for the season. Uh, you just want to check your roof for any loose shingles and your siding, anything that could possibly um, come loose in a high wind event and, and make sure you get those repaired and, and, and tied down in time for the season. Schroeder says you should also be looking at your home insurance plans, including flood insurance. And for more information on the home repair programs in Port Isabel, visit our website, krgv.com. You can also visit your individual city or county's websites for information on programs that could help you. In the studio, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6. Hurricane Dolly was the first storm to make landfall in the valley since Hurricane Brett in 1999. Insurance claims after Dolly reached over $5 million. More than a million dollars of those claims were from wind damage.